Hello everyone, this is a demo of Mad Nomads Coin Manager 2 extension. So this extension is a complete remake of my original coin manager. Unfortunately, I had to start from the very scratch because I wanted to make it work with a new FGU system and not be locked to specific coin types. So this new version works with any rule set, any currency types that you want. It also is built in a framework that's going to let me uh, add a lot onto with some other future um, enhancements, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. So the first thing I'll show you here is some of the common features from before. Um, at the top of the player's inventory sheet, you'll see um, columns for all the uh, coin types that you're using in your, in your campaign. And the big change here uh, is that you can actually change what these are. So if you go as the GM into the coin currencies manager, like a lot of people didn't want to use EP. So you saw, for example, that I got rid of EP here and it doesn't show. If I wanted to add it back in now, for example, I could add it in, close this window, and it will now appear as a currency type for the player and vice versa. So changing your currencies um, on your character sheets is just that easy. And of course the players can still spend their currency. They say, say why they're spending it, um, what they're spending, how much they're spending, and they can share it in chat if they want or not. They share it, it shows up here. If they try to buy something they can't afford, you know, it will tell them that they don't have enough currency. Another big change here is like in the old version, uh, like let's say I try to spend 20 gold. I don't have 20 gold here, but I have also platinum or I have copper that I can convert to make gold. But so the old system, it didn't really know what you wanted to do. Do you want to use your copper? Do you want to use your platinum? It became kind of confusing. So I had to just sort of like recalculate everything and make sure the value stayed the same. But a lot of people didn't really like that. Um, so it wasn't an easy solution. So what I've done now is instead, if you try to buy it, you, know, you don't have enough, but I've given the player a way to convert whichever they want into the thing they need. So if they go to this new button here, convert currency, they can choose if they want to you know, make their platinum into gold or do they want to make their, their copper into gold. And again, these are drop down values are all depending on whatever currencies you're using. So they'll change um, depending on your rule system, depending on your currency preferences. So I'm going to go ahead and convert under copper to gold. So I don't have enough converted it. And now I can buy that item that I was going to buy and subtracts it. So all the math is being handled for you. Another really big change here is this idea of valuables. So this is showing me that this player has 3,050 uh, gold pieces and valuables or whatever the default currency is. And uh, well, the way this works is it looks at whatever rule set you're using. Uh, what are the, how are the, very, uh, the valuables defined in that rule set if they are? So for example, in fifth edition, they're defined as treasure items. If you look at the item type, so let me open up a garnet here. See this defined as treasure. So that means that anything that's treasure, or I've hard coded a type called valuables. So you can add anything you want to valuables. Um, it will factor that in when it's saying how much you know worth you have in like sort of semi liquid uh, assets essentially. So if I go ahead and change my number of garnets, you know, up to like five, and then I refresh. It recalculates and shows you uh, you have like three thousand three hundred fifty dollars in gold worth of treasure valuables that you could potentially convert um, so that you could buy stuff. And that way, if you want to like sell your items or your or use your money to buy gems or whatever in your campaign, uh, it tracks that for you pretty easily. And you can always kind of give a rough idea how much you have in your inventory. Um, all right. So what else? So there's also a bunch of uh, customization options. So as a uh, um, the GM, you can go in here and you can choose, uh, let me start with the bottom one, like how the labels, how wide they are. So right now I'm just using like PPGP. If you're using a system that has longer labels, you can go ahead and make these wider so that accommodates whatever your system is. Um, you can also choose whether or not you want to let players be able to add their own currency. So these are all locked by default for the player. So the only way they can add it is with this add button. But if you disable that, then that button disappears for them. And so you can kind of lock that down and make sure they don't accidentally add stuff or whatever. And the last option here is this add currencies to weight to inventory. So what this will do is if it's enabled, there'll be a item in the inventory with a currency and the weight. So as soon as this person gets any coins or spends any coins, it'll update. I'll just go ahead and do something to update it. There you go. So that shows like the weight um, value of the current currency for this, this person. And it'll add it up into the encumbrance as well. Uh, FGU does have an ability already to do the encumbrance, but it doesn't add the item like this in the equipment. So you can see like called out like the difference there. It's kind of just a little neat enhancement, but do make sure to turn off currency weight, uh, the default FGU option if you decide to use this option.